I used to be really into video games. It was all I talked about at one point, and it was what most of my content centered around. But for the past few years, I just found myself really falling out of it. And that's just how I am, usually. I get really into something, and then once I learn everything I can about it, I move on. Ever since 2019, I haven't really thought about or played that many video games. I mean, at most, I'll probably get on Animal Crossing for an hour every year. But of course, there are those games that really have stuck with me and have had an impact on me, like Crash Bandicoot, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Metal Gear Solid. Damn. Oh my god. Metal Gear specifically being the thing that made me fully realize that video games and movies can cross over in a perfect way. With the original MGS, Kojima made me immersed. The acting, music, sound design, and writing all made me be in it and on the edge of my seat wondering what's gonna happen next. And every time I replay it, I just feel like I'm playing like a really fun, goofy ass spy movie. <laughs> it's still there. So when I saw the trailers for Death Stranding at the time, I was very excited. I remember watching the trailers over and over again, trying to catch new things and trying to put everything together. Cause Kojima purposely left it simple and kind of vague. You play as Norman Reedus, the delivery man, delivering all types of goods to this giant open world trying to put America back together. I need to take a leak. There are also these weird ghost things and a baby in the mix. So my imagination went wild. Then when the game finally released, I remember everybody hated on it and it just kind of slipped away from me and faded into the back of my memory, never to be thought of again. Until like December 2021, I just randomly was scrolling through Amazon and I saw it there for like 20 bucks and I just, I thought to myself, I, I gotta get it. And then all the memories just started flooding back in of like me being super excited, you know? And uh, tw it was only 20 bucks, it's a steal. Now let me tell you, when I originally picked up the sticks and started playing this game, the first thing that I really noticed and the first thing that really caught my eye was the visuals. I love the way everything looks. I just love the terrain so much from the snowy mountains to these green ass fields. It all just looks amazing. And what I really think helps enhance it is the actual sound design. The way the wind subtly gets all up in your ear just really makes it for me. Cause with that you get a full scope of how big this world really is. Which helps the game reach exactly what it's going for, making you feel as small as possible. The gameplay is a very important part of that because most of the time you're just walking alone to a destination and even that can be pretty tough. Because you gotta watch your moves down to every step you take or else you're just gonna fall. The combat is probably my least favorite part about the entire experience. Most enemies are just way too easy to deal with on normal and even the ghosts are pretty simple to avoid cause it's like the same thing every time. Just avoid where your BB's light is pointing and even if I get caught, all I gotta do is just walk away. That's it. Later on they kinda switch it up and make it a bit more challenging by taking away your BBs so you can't see where any of the ghosts are, but even this wasn't really that big of a deal to me. The combat and gameplay when you're talking about enemies just feels super basic to me and outside of a few boss fights that I thought were kinda cool, it just leaves me wanting so much more. But even with that complaint, I kept moving cause when you reach a new cutscene, is great it feels so rewarding even though they do have some of that kojima cheese to them and later on there is just so much expository dialogue to the point where it kind of ruins the mystery of the whole game but overall i still like them i still like them but i still found it very interesting to slowly learn more and more about this world and the other characters you interact with and speaking of those other characters man every performance in this game is great from front to back you can really tell that these actors are trying to make this game the best thing it possibly can be anytime anybody's on screen they immediately shine and steal the entire show but that's not really the reason why i love this game so much it's not the story, it's not the crazy twists or the crazy explosions, but instead, it's the smaller moments that really make this game for me.
Sometimes after a really long hike, you'll get these beautiful musical segments where you get to reflect on the journey that you just had. I remember watching an interview Kojima did a bit before the game released where he was saying Death Stranding is about connection and overcoming loneliness. And you can tell that Kojima wanted this to be a big part of the game. You can stumble across other players' packages and deliver it for them. If you play online, you can find random bridges and ladders that other people made to make the hike just a bit easier. These moments make the game feel really genuine, and even though I don't think this game is perfect, I still enjoyed it for what it is and the message it gives. Even at your loneliest, you're not alone. And I think that's pretty cool.